get up on your feet. What you need to do is catch up with her. Proud father Prince Charles said he was thrilled about the prospect of a royal wedding during a visit to his model village in Dorset. His visit to Poundbury today comes just minutes after he and Camilla announced, via Clarence House, that they were delighted about the upcoming nuptials of Prince Harry to his actress girlfriend Meghan Markle. The couple, who have been dating for a year and a half, are set to tie the knot next spring and will live together in Nottingham Cottage, Charles said. Prince Charles told reporters today that the news was very good and added, thrilled for them both. They'll be very happy indeed. He spoke at the start of a series of engagements in Poundbury and Dorchester, Dorset, which is built on the Duchy of Cornwall land. The prince visited Dame's first school to meet staff, like students cat. and parents, and find out about their community and sustainability programs. He toured classrooms, and went outside to meet children working in the school garden before unveiling a plaque to officially open the school. While seeing children baking and peeling apples, Charles joked, No one's cut their fingers off yet. Addressing teachers, he added, I see you've done the risk assessment. Later, while watching children planting pansies in the raised borders, the prince told one girl, You are doing a very good job. which moved to a new purpose-built site in the village in April 2017, already holds the Eco School's Green Flag Award and is working towards being admitted into the Global Environmental Schools Program School of Fame. Poundry, which is built on the Duchy of Cornwall land on the outskirts of Dorchester, is home to around 3,000 people. The experimental town was created on the basis of architectural principles found desirable by Charles and is intended as a utopian town, where there is no segregation of social classes and schools, shops, and places of work are within walking distance. Dame's first school, which moved to a new, purpose-built site in the village in April 2017 already holds the Eco School's Green Flag Award and is working towards being admitted into the Global Environmental Schools Programs Hall of Fame. Charles will then visit Blue Blue Technology, a family-run business which was based in Dorchester after it opened in 1998 but moved to premises in Poundbury in August 2016. Like the company, which employs 30 people, uses augmented reality and 3D scanning to program robotics for the international market, particularly in the aerospace, automotive and renewable energy industries. During the visit, Charles will learn about two different projects in development, five like a 3 d scanner which can identify faults in material used like for aerospace engineering and hololens, which uses virtual reality to program robots. Poundbury has been created on the basis of architectural principles found desirable by Chris Charles.
It is intended as a utopian model, where there is no segregation of social classes, and schools, shops, and places of work are within walking distance. The Villages overall plan was developed in the 1980s by Leon Cryer, an architect from Luxembourg, and construction began in October 1993. It is due for completion in 2025 and Pound 3 will have a population of 5,000 people living in 2,250 homes. Last year, building was completed on a replica of Buckingham Palace in the heart of the Zootopian village in a touching tribute to his late grandmother. The huge Palladian property sits in the heart of Queen Mother Square, the centerpiece of Pound Free and Dorset, which is owned by the Duchy of Cornwall. The grand building has been named Strong More House in an honor to the Queen Mother's heritage. <laughs> Her father, Claude Bowes-Lyon, was the 14th Earl of Strathmore. Look familiar, last year, the building was completed on this replica of Buckingham Palace in the heart of his utopian village in a touching tribute to Charles's late grandmother. The neoclassical building features a large balcony with two majestic pillars and looks remarkably similar to Buckingham Palace, where the Queen Mother lived with King George V until his death in 1952. It contains eight luxury flats worth £650,000 each, which have all been sold. Dot next to Scarf Moor House is the Duchess of Cornwall, a five-story public house modelled on the Ritz Hotel, a favourite haunt of the Queen Mother. The building, a joint venture between the Duchy of Cornwall and Hall and Woodhouse Brewery, will offer a pub restaurant, conference facilities and hotel accommodation. According to the Hall and Woodhouse website, Prince Charles requested the venture be named after his wife. Another block of 20 exclusive plus, and a spa is being built on the other side of the square, and will be called the Royal Pavilion, named after one of the Queen Mother's racehorses. The finishing touch to the square will be a 10 feet tall statue of the Queen Mother. A large plinth has been put in place in the square in readiness for the installation of the monument, which is a second casting of the one of the Queen Mother in the mall depicting her aged 51 and wearing robes. Prince Charles was very close to his grandmother, who died in 2002 aged 101, and decided several years ago to honor her in Poundbury, which is his 25-year experimental project, to build a classically designed urban development on Duchy of Cornwall land. He will then meet residents and staff at Bowes Lion Court, a retirement community that has 62 one and two fair departments for the over 70s. The properties are owned independently, but residents are also provided with additional care and support by a qualified team on site 24 hours a day. Charles's model village is a mix of shops, cottages, townhouses and businesses built reflecting his passion for classical architecture. Work began on the project in 1993, and the idea was to create an urban quarter at Dorchester which gave priority to people, rather than cars, and where commercial buildings were mixed with residential areas, shops and leisure facilities, to create a walkable community.
for the royal wedding. What we know so far it will be in the spring next year. Harry and Meghan Markle will tie the knot in spring next year. No definite date has been announced, but it is unlikely to be April, when the Duchess of Cambridge is expecting her baby more likely as March, or possibly May, for these royal nuptials. Romantic Harry popped the question, while the pair were in London in November, got William and Kate get on very well with Madam Harry's brother William, and his wife Kate issued a warm statement, telling of their excitement at the news. It has been wonderful getting to know Meghan, and to see how happy she and Harry are together, the pair said. Proud grandparents the Queen and the Duke of Edinburgh are delighted for the couple, and wish them every happinesses, a Buckingham Palace spokesman said. The Prince of Wales, who announced the engagement, said while visiting Poundbury and Dorset, that he was thrilled, and very happy indeed. <laughs> Harry and Meghan will live in London America as Markle has left her home in Canada, to live in the UK. <laughs> The married home will be Harry's current place Nottingham Cottage at Kensington Palace where William, Kate, Prince George and Princess Charlotte also have an apartment. And her parents are over the moon in an affectionate statement, Mr. Markle and Ms. Ragland said jointly, We are incredibly happy for Meghan and Harry. Like a hell cat. They added, we wish them a lifetime of happiness, and are very excited for their future together. <laughs> Harry and Meghan share the same qualities Miss Markle's parents revealed. Our daughter has always been a kind and loving person. To see her union with Harry, whom shares the same qualities, is a source of great joy for us as parents. 